Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York. And this fly is driving me nuts. I honey-treated some of my pipes, and now he's hanging around my office. Anyways, ah, happy Tuesday. Tomorrow's hump day, which means we're halfway through the week. Yeah. So, for uh, Two for Tuesday, uh, we uh, are going to be smoking two different pipes and two different blends. Uh, I have my K. Woody bowl number 5129G. It's a K. Woody super grain. And that is a hexagon. Yeah. And that puts the, the bowl number, puts the production date... You have to look at the bowl number and how many holes do you have in your stinger. There's four holes in there, which is the earlier version. Then they drop down to three holes in the stinger ball system. That puts the production of this pipe between 1925 and 1938. Yeah. And in it, we have something that I've had jarred since June of 2020, and that is... Captain Black Cherry Aromatic, which used to it was the only blend I smoked for <clears throat> the first year, year and a half. I started smoking a pipe two and a half years ago, and uh, then I discovered the seventy other blends I now own, <laughs> and some of them, uh, several tens of them, or uh, several pounds. Uh, for the ones I bought in bulk. So let's light it up, see how it tastes. And this uh, hexagon pipe is absolutely in pristine condition. No teeth chatter, nothing. It looks like it just came out of the box. What a gorgeous pipe. And I only paid 40 bucks for this. This pipe's worth a lot more than that. So here we go. Captain Black Cherry Aromatic. Oh, Paul Gilson, how far have you come? I have tried so many blends since then. I like the Latakia blends or the English blends. Um, now that I go back to this, it's such a heavy aromatic, it does kind of taste perfumey to me. And I used to love this stuff. It's still a good smoke. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, and as you can see, I am growing the mustache and goatee back. This is about one week's worth of growth. It's, it's all white. I don't have a gray hair in my head, but my mustache and beard, they're white. How could that be? Uh, the Captain Black Cherry Aromatic is still a good smoke for me, but mm. I have many others that are my more favorite now. This one will give you tongue burn or tongue bite. So, uh, my mom was supposed to call with her uh, fiancé. They're getting married on October 16th. Uh, she, she said she was going to call around 5 o'clock, and it's 
5.51, 51 minutes after the hour. Uh, so, uh, if I do receive a phone call during this video, I'm going to have to pause it and come back, or if I can't pause it, I'll have to do part two for two for Tuesday. Never done two for Tuesday in two parts. <laughs> so, uh, one of my subscribers, <laughs> uh, I don't know what his condition was, but, and I won't mention his name, uh, I did a video and he liked it and all that stuff and made some nice comments. Then he followed up with, unsubbed you. So, you know, I was curious. I said, why didn't you unsub me? And he's like, this has become like the cat channel now. Well, okay. I, a week and a half ago, I got a new kitten. The thing's climbing all over me, as most of you saw. And this subscribers offended by a kitten? Oh, I, I, he says, if you sub me and look at all my pipe collection, I'll resub you. I, I, I didn't even respond to it. I, we have uh, 391 subscribers now. Thank you, subscribers, uh, for subscribing and watching my videos. I do think that I do have a little bit uh, to offer to the pipe community. Even though I am a newbie after two and a half years, I still consider myself a newbie. I got 130 pipes and over 70 different blends, but that doesn't mean anything. It's experience. Uh, it's time under your belt. Smoking pipes and learning about them. And, but every day I come home, I watch YouTube videos on pipe smoking, <clears throat> dip, research different blends. So I've put in two and a half years, a lot of work that uh, some of you pipe smokers that have been smoking 30, 40, 50 years, uh, you, you didn't have access to those uh, tools to learn. You had to figure it out on your own. I'm watching YouTube and watching other people tell me what they've learned and their experiences. And... Uh, so I do feel that uh, I might have a little something to offer to the YouTube pipe community. And I appreciate all of you subscribers. I, I really do. Mm. So. Should we come up with a theme song? For two for Tuesday that I started out with every week, like we have for uh, Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday, I do tumbling dice. I started out first 45 seconds of the video uh, is off their uh, May 9th, uh, 1971 album. Um, <clears throat> slips my mind which album it is now, but... Uh, Anyways, we started out with Tumbling Dice. Uh, so what do you guys think about like a theme song for Two for Tuesday? What would you guys like to hear every week at the beginning of Two for Tuesday? And please don't say, Oh Mandy by Barry Manilow. Or I'll unsubscribe you. <laughs> All right, so my beautiful K Woody is starting to warm up just a little bit, not too bad. So we're going to let that cherry aromatic rest. And wow, what do we have? For pipe number two, we have an octagon shape. That's a hexagon, meaning six sides. 
That's an octagon with eight sides, and this is a recent pipe I picked up. I did pay up for it, but uh, brand new, it's, you know, a $300 pipe. I think I paid 120 bucks for it, and it's handmade by Brian Kelnitz out of Buffalo, New York. Kelnitz, K-A-L-N-I-T-Z. And it has no bowl number or anything on it. Uh, so it's an octagon shape with uh, kind of an octagon shaped dome, kind of a squarish, rounded uh, shank. Uh, it takes no filter. And uh, just a great pipe. And um, <clears throat> I've done some reading up on this gentleman, and he uses no power tools, no lathe or anything. All the stuff is hand done, all by hand. No power tools. And he only uses 100-year-old aged briar. Uh, actually, I talked to one of his employees, and he's like, uh, when he mentioned 100 year old aged briar, I was like, well, Dunhill has aged briar. He's like, uh, not like this. He says, you buy one of, uh, Brian Kelnitz pipes and you will put your Dunhill down. And my Dunhill was my best smoker. This now comes right up neck and neck with it. I, I can't decide which one is better, but. In this, we have, uh, by East India Trading Company, Officers Club, which is a phenomenal blend. This is like one of my top blends that I love. And the reason why I love it, and actually I had uh, six tens. I just finished the first ten. Uh, I'm down to five tens. Uh the reason why I like Officers Club, Officers Club combines Virginia's, Burleys, and Black Cavendish with rum. You can't get a better mixture than that. Gentle spices and creamy vanilla that will make you think of a decadent dessert. Officers Club will be truly satisfying after a hearty evening meal, and it is. If, if you like that kind of stuff in your tobacco. If that sounds appealing to you, you should tr definitely pick up a tin of East India Trading Company Officers Club. It's like to die for. It really is. Those ingredients are so perfectly blended. The, it has a perfect rum back note uh, <clears throat> or backdrop with a little vanilla yeah, rum and vanilla. How can you go wrong with rum and vanilla? And the Virginia's Burleys and Black Cavendish. Oof. I can't wait to light this one up. So, here we go. With our uh, Brian Kelnitz handmade pipe out of Buffalo, New York, which is actually only about... Uh, Maybe a one-hour drive from where I live, so he's very close to me. I gotta, I have to go see his shop. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot it's two for Tuesday, and I have two <clears throat> Bush beers over here. Uh, Paul the Pipe Guy's favorite adult beverage, yes. And so we have to open one up and clear the palate from that perfumey Captain Black Cherry Aromatic that I once oh so loved. I still do like it, but...
Oh, that stuff used to give me serious tongue bite. Excuse me. Ah, this Brian Kelnitz pipe, handmade to perfection. Yeah. And it's just a great smoker. I would never think of putting Captain Black Cherry Aromatic in this pipe. Why? Most of you probably already know. It'd poison the pipe. It would just... Ghost it forever. Mm-hmm. So this Officer's Club, <clears throat> great blend. Uh, it is quite moist, so if you're going to smoke it and you want it to burn really nice, I recommend taking enough to fill up your bowl, put it on your desk or your cutting board. I always have a cutting board on my desk per permanently. Yep. For plug and so forth. Um, and then just kind of put enough for your bowl and just kind of spread it out a little bit and let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes and dry. <clears throat> then you won't have to keep relighting it. I think it's all the rum they put in there. I still can't get over that guy. I'm unsubbing you. Why is that? This is turning into the cat channel. You're going to let a little pussy offend you? Come on. There's people on here that listen to me sing. And don't uns unsub me. Well, some of them do. Actually, this time I put on two videos where I was singing and I was surprised I didn't lose one subscriber so I must have either really did a good job or you guys are just getting used to realizing that every once in a while Paul the pipe guy uh, throws a tune or two on you know <laughs> mm. So I got this, uh, yeah, just for the cat channel. I got this fishing pole type of thing here. My cat goes crazy over this. I'll hold this down. Oh, you almost got it. The cat goes insane. She's actually growing a lot bigger, even over the last week. Um... And she's a lot more uh, getting more used to her body and so forth. I'm giving her a lot of exercise when I come home from work. Sit there and play with her with that. Now she's getting more cat-like, you know. Like, now she can jump off the couch, no problem. Before, she'd be, like, kind of shaking and moving towards the edge of the couch and looking down, wondering, oh, can I do this, Daddy? You know, now she's all over the place, you know, but, uh, I love animals, uh, animals can actually, you can tell a lot about how animals react to different individuals. They can sense a good person with a good heart from a bad person with a bad heart. They know. They're very, very receptive to things like that. I mean, I picked this cat up when I went over to pick her up a week and a half ago, and she's like... Like purring, like a diesel engine. You know? 
She loved me. Well, I, I think I'm a good person. I am a good person. Tamp that one down a little too hard. Ah, there we go. Stay smoky, my friends. Officers Club. Yeah. I'm still waiting to uh, for Pipes and Cigars to get uh, that uh, squadron leader back in. Nobody has squadron leader in stock anywhere. And it's a Latakia's lover's best blend, they said. Mm. I'm going to pause the video for a second. I have to take a little break, and I'll be... much better now. <clears throat> so, um, at work, I've been doing this project and, uh, well, let's just say they ordered a little different kind of material than what I'm used to in building what I'm building, which I really can't talk about. But they only give me uh, the, the actual part is about three foot wide. <clears throat> they only give me 30 thousandths of an inch tolerance as far as flatness, meaning, you know, I have these five parts that I have to weld together and they can't bend or anything like that. Put a straight edge over them and if they're more than 30 thousandths of an inch, out of whack, they fail. And then they have to go and get uh, bent into shape and that kind of bends those guys out of shape that have to do that. Uh, so I finally, uh, after, uh, after I had my first failures, I was like, what the heck? And even my... Uh, certified welding inspector was like, well, you just going to have to figure it out. I'm like, well, do, you're the certified welding inspector. If something's getting messed up because we're using a different grade of material or whatever, you, you have to work with me. Well, you should work with me to figure it out. No, nope, you're going to have to figure it out on your own. I got a lot of other things going on and I'm like, now, after a month, I finally figured it out. When I put this whole assembly together, every time I weld it, I have to clamp it down to the table, tight as can be, through the whole entire process. I got 10 of these parts back today, uh, which weigh, oh God, they got to weigh 200 and 250 pounds easily when they're done. Uh, they're three foot by about three foot with five different tube connections and so forth. I can't really get into it, but out of ten of them, once I found out the little secret, and I did, being a new welder, I said a little prayer to God. I says, Lord, please just help me. Oh, all eyes in the factory are on me company we're building these for, their eyes are on me, uh, the things are going awry, and he did. God gave me the knowledge, and all of a sudden, 
clamping them down through the entire welding process from start to finish, clamp them down, weld them, send them to machining, machining does what they have to do, they come back, I have to weld the accessories on them, clamp them down then again, and today I was 10 for 10 on pass. Because they go out for paint, powder coating, come back, and then when the guy puts the whole thing together, there's other things that go on this part that I'm making. He rechecks it, and it's pass or fail. If it fails for the flatness test. Now, 30 thousandths of an inch is only 10 times the thickness of a human hair. A human hair is 3 thousandths of an inch, meaning it's like a real small amount. Although if you have red hair, uh, red hair is thicker, it's four thousandths of an inch. So I have to maintain like the combination of 10 hairs. And I'm a brand new welder. But thank you, Lord. He gave me the knowledge and figured it out, and yeah, everything's going great. Yeah. So, that little five minutes of, well, well whatever. Uh, glory be to God. Yeah, if you're in a situation and you really don't know what to do, you can ask your Heavenly Father for help, and he will help you. He answers prayers. Oh, I've done it many times. Yeah. I always give him the glory, though. I'm just a tool. But, uh, ah, here we go with our squadron leader again. Hmm. <laughs> so I was wondering here for like about a half hour where the cat was and uh, fed her a big dinner. Didn't know where she went. <laughs> went in my bedroom and uh, she's sleeping on my bed. I don't let her sleep in my room when I'm sleeping in there because she wants to play all night. Tapping me on the face. Licking my fingers. <laughs> <coughs> Biting my fingers. Whoa, what just happened there? Oof. So if anybody has a tip on where the squadron leader can be found, I really want to buy five or six tens of that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Cheers, everyone. So we're coming up on, excuse me, beer does that, coming up on uh, 29 minutes and 49 seconds. So that should be about all for Two for Tuesday. Hope you all enjoyed your smoke with me and your favorite beverage. 
Yeah. Just having a little smoke together. I still have two different blends that uh, I have here uh, to review. I won't reveal them until the time is right. And then I do have another blend that I thought was very interesting that I just ordered uh, yesterday and should be here within uh, three, four days. Uh, so anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Thanks for smoking with me and having a beverage. Anyways, what do you guys think of the goatee? It's itchy. Got to this point last time and I shaved it off, but I'm not giving up this time. I had a goatee for 20 years. My wife, mustache and goatee. My wife, my ex-wife, never saw me without one. One day I shaved it off. Got tired of it. It started turning gray. She came home from work and it was dark. And she looks. She has night vision like a cat. And she's like, grow it back. I was like, no, I don't want to grow it back. I look 10 years younger without it. Grow it back. Yeah, she wasn't too happy, but I said, it's my face. She's like, you look gay without it. I was like, well, what do you mean I look gay without it? Not that there's anything wrong with being gay, all right? I have no problem with people of uh, the, uh, that preference at all. Uh, but, you know, she was, she was throwing everything in the book at me to grow it back. Well, I didn't, and I've been clean-shaven for a long time, and now that I'm getting into my elderly years, I'd like to show a little gray to show that I have, that I'm distinguished. Ah, well. Enough. I'm going to go relax. Paul the Pipe Guy, over and out. And happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers.